drive out of Paddock Hill and think about oh Oof, that's close he knew he knew he wasn't going to make it you know quite early and he kind of yeah. he just straight he sat the thing up a little bit and just hit the hit the front brake so he could miss the back end of Shane Byrne so Byrne Brooks Hager Hill uh, Laverty Walker Bridewell has pushed through past Easton into seventh place. So Tommy Bridewell, good at his good as his word, said he should be able if he can get a respectable start, he'd have the setup to drive the supersonic BMW through the pack, and he's now running seventh. And he needs it. He's got that he fifth the place yet yeah, in the championship to defend. So Gowland is now be, is behind Easton and just in front of Lowe. Sealy eleventh, Rutter twelfth. There's Bridewell. There's Walker. Chris Walker running in. Oh, and Bridewell now, uh, is Bridewell ahead of Walker? Yeah, 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 yeah. So that means that Bridewell is now sixth. That's a great ride from 17th on the grid. He likes that BMW. So Tommy Bridewell, uh, far from losing <laughs> out in the battle for uh, top six, looks like he's going to get himself, he may s lose that fifth place yeah. to Harry Hager, but he's going to stay ahead of his pursuers. Yeah, it's weird how you can kind of consolidate your place in the top six, but yet lose fifth. You know, it's... it's He's definitely going to lose uh, fifth place to Hager, I think, is he? What's the difference now? My, my maths aren't that good. No, I'll have a look. You talk amongst yourselves, Jack. <laughs> I think the difference is only two points. But it I is. might be wrong. It is two points, yeah. So it will see so, Hager. That third place will see him into uh, fifth in the championship. Two laps to go. 67, shaky burn on the red and white. Rapid solicitors Kawasaki. Behind him, the blue and white Taiko Suzuki of number two, Josh Brooks. This is England versus Australia. I tell you what, Sheik is going to be desperate to win. Not only his home circuit, not only a big. Hang on. We're looking Watching at Hager. Yeah, like I said, big home support for Shaky Byrne, really popular around here, lives just down the road, and always gone well here. And like I said, he won't have any more time in the place than anybody else. You don't get to race on this full circuit that often. So the, the leader still, the Rapid Solicitors Kawasaki of Shaky Byrne, he's stamped his authority on this race from the outset. Oh, oh Gowell has gone Gowell. down. Yeah. I think that might be Drew, it's Hillbend, and another of those old top I think six possibilities goes wrong. I think it's 30s, and that's what I think it is. So what a shame then, Graham Gowland, the Northumbrian, crashes and uh, cost himself a possible eighth place. He was running just behind Stuart Easton, just ahead of his own teammate Alex Lowe's. We'll see where the yellow flags are, because if there's yellow flags now in this sector, we'll know that Gowland did fall off at Druids, or if it's just along a little bit. On the final lap, Shaky Burn versus Josh Brooks. How is this one going to be decided? Uh, they both run a bit deep into no, Druids. He's still, he's still got them, Norrie Hager. He's still got that late apex, did Shaky Burn? He's still got that slingshot out. I reckon there's going to be yellow flags here this next. There is, and that's yes. what that. Oh, oh Hager's Hager. gone! Norrie Hager's crashed at Graham Hill Bend. Hager's oh. gone down and that trudges away on the last lap. lap he's thrown away third place and suddenly once again that top six is thrown wide, wide open. open yep shaky burn versus number two josh brooks and third place and a consolation podium point will go to tommy hill, hill. yeah ahead of michael laverty bridewell will run fifth and well and truly keep his fifth place in the championship Ahead of Walker, Easton, Lowe's, Alistair Seeley now in the top ten. Shaky's done enough for sure. What a ride by Shaky yep. Burn. And difficult ride as well, just a lead from the front with a lot of pressure from behind the whole race. So Shaky Burn in his 211th British Superbike race, the former double champion, 36th race victory here at Brands Hatch on the Rapid Solicitors Kawasaki. Shaky, local boy done good, he wins it ahead of Josh Brooks in second on bike number two, Taiko Suzuki. Third for Tommy Hill, the defending champion. Fourth place, Michael Laverty. Fifth, Tommy Bridewell, he didn't expect that. Sixth, Chris Walker. Seventh, Alex Lowe's. Eighth, Stuart Easton. Ninth place for Alistair Seeley. Michael Rutter, the most, uh, the senior member, the 384th race. And he gets 10th place ahead of Barry Burrell. John Kirkham, 12th. Carl Harris gets points in 13th place on his debut for the Quattro Plant Kawasaki team. Welcome back, Bomber. 14th place for Skasser and 15th place for Patrick Muff. 
with Mark Aitchison just outside the points on the split lath Redmond Aprilia well done that man and only four tenths outside the points as well but victory for Shane Byrne an average speed of 100 miles per hour great ride then by Shaky Byrne who uh, first got on a motorcycle at school when he, it was part of the sea cadets display leaping through hoops of flame and he said uh, I never really was overly keen on working and doing painting and decorating which was what I was first sent off to do as work experience I always wanted to be a bike racer and here he is uh, living the dream is Norrie Hager uh, uh, rather there is Norrie Hager's swan Yamaha what here we happened? go here we go let's have a look there he goes no it was Graham Hill into Graham Hill James, a man of his experience, he shouldn't really have done that on the last lap of a race. Hey, I've no...